Hey guys, I'm the one you lost, and have you ever had no idea what you're doing? So, for this particular artwork, I recorded at a weird time because I didn't know if I wanted to record this one, so we got kind of an awkward start. Well, you're gonna see throughout the process of this video that, man, I could not figure out what I wanted to do. And I thought I'd actually share that. Um, it's always nice every now and then to, whenever you're showing people what you do, to show them the mistakes you make as well. And you're going to see a lot of mistakes in this video. And I'll try to walk you through each of them and how I quote unquote solved it. Now, this isn't a perfect situation. Um, I did fix most of it, but for the most part things didn't really go that well in this particular artwork. So I wanted to share that with you. So we started with this particular uh, pose and idea, and I wanted to kind of get the clothes to look very oversized and draped real nicely, and I think I succeeded at that. My issue was, I did not know what I wanted the character to be. At first I wanted it to be a new OC, then I'm like, no, I'm not feeling the OC, so then I switched to uh, Bay, which I've been drawing a lot lately from Hololive. So that is just me being undecided and not figuring things out. So I, I planned out some accessories and some like the pose is like, again, I hid the hands. I need to stop doing that. Um, for the most part, like I, I just hate drawing hands. I, I'm getting better at them, but I have been avoiding it. Here you can see I'm blocking out the lighting to kind of get it to look right and make a lot of more sense. Um, I went for a warm kind of yellowish light and then added a blue rim light to the other side. And I think that ended up looking really, really nice. Like, almost you can see the outline of the character's body, which is awesome. So I'm super, super proud of that. But we're getting to the point now where I just was completely lost. <laughs> so let's go ahead and start looking at that. Um, we're still getting the rendering out. I still have not decided what I want the character to be yet. And... Here's where I start trying to figure it out. We're adjusting the composition. And here we go. Lord have mercy, I do not know what I'm doing in terms of this voiceover. I'm so sorry. There we go. Now come the guys to the face. I have the head tilted up a bit. So I ended up trying to go with like these narrower eyes. And I think it looked okay, but it's not really what I wanted. Um, I'll fix it in the line art, that's for sure. Have to adjust the guides. Eyes are an eye length apart. Eye starts at the side of the face, and there we go. Now I have kind of the, like, this pouty look right here, which I ended up changing later. But there's the head. Now it's time to figure out who the heck I'm drawing. So... I start adjusting kind of the pose a bit more, make it make more sense. And here's where I start drawing the character's uh, hair. And this is the point where I started to try to make an OC. Now, the idea was okay, but I ended up not really liking it. So I ended up not using it. But it isn't a bad hairstyle. I think it looks cute and I added braids to it, which is nice. Braids are a whole lot of fun even though they're still a bit tricky for me to draw, even with how long I've been doing it, I still kind of struggle with braids. So I kind of hide the braids a bit behind the uh, character's back. I went for black hair at first, then I believe later on I changed it to white before changing the entire character. So, you're basically seeing my brain struggle in real time to figure out what the heck I'm doing. I tried changing the, uh, the everything to white to see how that looked, and I ended up not really caring for it, obviously. It, it just looks too washed out. Even when I started adding the uh, multiply layer, it just didn't feel right. And adjusting the character to be more pale to kind of fit the white scheme, but... I ended up changing it back to black. So this wasn't a terrible idea for an OC. It just didn't really have that oomph to it. You know what I mean? It just doesn't feel fully thought out. 
So I added some of the details to the hair. Sort of adjusting the colors. Now I'm getting the background. I kind of wanted to play with some background ideas, which is definitely a whole lot of fun. Uh, here's where I tried to make the character kind of like a, a wolf-like character or a fox, depending on what you see. And, yep, here's where I tried to figure out the background. And I adjusted the composition. This was actually the best move I did in this whole process, was fixing the composition. Um, you don't want to show everything in your composition. In fact, cropping it to leave the eye is definitely something you want to try. I think I should also make a video on composition. That might help people a lot, too. So again, we're adjusting colors, trying to make it look correct. And we added some hard light layers to kind of make it bounce. I, I think the purple actually, like the hot red, almost pinkish purple, looked the best with this character. But it was so saturated, it was overwhelming. So here's where I decided maybe I don't want the character to be an OC. So I start playing with it, trying to figure out what character I want, I want it to be. Uh, originally, I was going with Mume from Hollow Life, but I ended up not liking the uh, the look. In fact, I think I went with uh, goodness. She's the the Japanese VTuber from Hollow Life. Uh, now I need to look it up. Oh, it's the wolf. It's the wolf. Why can't I remember the name? Brain help. Mia. Mio. Sorry, Mio. Yeah, she she's one of my favorite Japanese uh, Hall Alive members. Mainly because I like black hair. I wish I could um, draw black hair more. Fun fact, look up how many Hall Alive members have black hair. You'll be shocked to find that for the most part, only three of them have truly black hair. Some of them usually have a variation of hair color. Um, Shiori's like half black, half white in terms of hair color. Um, so there really aren't that many like purely black haired characters. And I feel like I want that to change personally because black hair is so pretty. And I feel like kind of that raven hair look is something that I wish was more of a thing in Hollow Life. So about right here is where I tried turning the character either into Mume or Kali. And we are super zoomed out, so that's one of those situations where I keep saying this, but don't zoom out as much as I do. Uh, it's gen generally not a good idea. Yeah, okay, yes. Yeah, so this is where I started trying to turn into more Calliope. Just because the, the face and the, uh, the body type fit more with her, then, as you can see, I'm starting to switch it up into Mume right now. But the eye, the eye style and the body type just don't fit Mume, and that's why it didn't work here. So, if you're counting, we are on four characters that I've tried to make this uh, artwork out of, and none of them seem to just fit the bill in my opinion. Which, if you're, if we don't zoom in as much as, uh, or sorry, speed up as much as I have here, you'll realize that that means I've spent more than, I would say, an hour just trying to figure out what character I'm drawing. And usually I don't record this part, so it's one of the situations where you'll see that it takes so long for me to just think. So I just kind of had to figure out what works. Um, and that's basically the whole uh, situation. Now I'm starting to switch and trying to figure out what character I'm doing still. And it's just kicking my butt. As you can see, I still haven't quite figured it out. Here's where I finally just settle on Bay because I'm like, you know what? I can make it work. I've been drawing her a lot lately. And 
in my opinion, it ended up working. It also could have worked being cro crony, um, which I had been doing a lot of her in the past too. So I do actually think I could have made crony work as well. But yeah. Now you can see, like, I'm starting to figure out, it's like, okay, this is working a bit. Making sure to make it fit the light that I currently have going. Adjusting everything to make it look right. Adding some warm, add glow to everything. So now I've added the tail, I'm going to start adding some post-processing to make everything feel like it's working properly. I added the word rat to her shirt because that's super important, apparently. <laughs> Adding the word rat, it works. So now I kind of played around with the background, figured out what's going on here. Um, I added a photo background and then just drew over it using a uh, photo bashing because that, that works really easy for backgrounds. But unfortunately, I didn't record myself doing it, so we're about to skip ahead to the finished uh, sketch. And there we go. Well, if you enjoyed this video, as confused of a mess as it is, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. Helps out a whole lot. See you next time. Bye.